Hi, I'm Iza. Uh, previous job, cabin crew for almost four years. I started kerja cabin crew uh, 2017 on January. So uh, this coming January, I get up four years lah. Uh, actually, my it's my dream job. Uh, after I school, I school lah. Memang I nak join cabin crew. Uh, and then my mom so I study. Okay, I study. I master UITM for three semester. Je, then I quit. I quit to. Uh, before I quit to actually I pergi interview uh, as a cabin crew. Tapi uh, even though I tak lepas, I cari uh, time tu mula 18. I cari job lain dekat KL and then I kerja lah yang macam I cakap you and experience uh, my background working experience. And then I keep trying until 23, which is three years later I dapat uh, join as cabin crew. Kira yeah, memang sepanjang I kerja. Memang I keep trying, I, I mean I, I pergi je walk in interview. Start daripada bulan March, our company dah suruh, bukan suruh lah macam ask for volunteer siapa nak ambil leave. Uh, because memang tak banyak flight, so kita orang kena, um, maybe dia orang suggest us to apply ambil leave sebab memang tak pakai crew. So I volunteer starting from April, May, June, July, empat bulan. Uh, memang during that period, I tak ada income. And then I try juga cari kerja part time lain apa semua. Uh, I ada buat small business tapi sikit sikit je lah. Bila flight dah banyak cancel and then especially international flight, very affected. So time tu kita orang dah kurang dah allowance kita orang sebab hours flying hours dah kurang. And then uh, Bila kes COVID ni makin naik and dah uh, affected Malaysia uh, Lagi banyak border, international border pun dah close So memang uh, affected our uh, flying job lah So August tu uh, dah start banyak flight which is domestic je Sabah, Sarawak semua uh, I start fly balik Tapi dalam sebulan tu tak banyak flight pun I dapat Seminggu, maybe dua flight macam tu je. So, uh, August, September, I fly and then uh, October, a few weeks before, dah 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 dengar lah rumours and news yang cakap kan uh, berhentikan staff. Tapi, I macam, I tak suka dengar rumours, so I relax je. Tapi, tak expect pula, I, I one of the staff yang dapat email uh, yang Apa ni? For retrenchment. Okay, before kita orang dapat email tu, there is another email to all staff. It's like announcement tau. Macam notice yang dia orang akan, akan buat this retrenchment. So, uh, masa I dapat uh, the first email tu, uh, I tak adalah macam tanya-tanya kawan I, nervous ke apa gelabah semua. I macam diam je. I tak nak benda ni macam sebab kita tahu situasi macam mana so i tak nak memperbesarkan i punya apa a uh, kerisauan tu so i macam relax je and then i kerja je i mean like i kerja part time ni macam biasa a um, until the day i dapat email tu baru i macam ada sikit emotional lah i just tengok kat group-group kita orang semua like saying goodbye uh, then, uh, bila sampai turn I dapat email tu, I pun, uh, I tak tahu nak cakap apa. I mean like, I, I, I'm not good at saying goodbye. So, I macam, um, <laughs> I macam let it be lah. Biar, uh, I mean like, dah, dah nasib macam ni. I mean like, and I, I rasa macam, uh, it's okay. Sebab as everyone, uh, even outside the, I rasa they should know lah situation airline sekarang macam mana. Setiap cabin crew ada 4 years contract. So, I punya contract habis Januari, I dah mentally prepared. I tahu like whatever happen in this, uh, in this airline, I akan jadi macam the next person yang akan dibentikan. So, actually among all, I rasa my badge ataupun 
kita orang macam dah dah prepare dah. So I bersyukur juga sebab I ada part time job. Macam I, I kira I tak ada komitmen yang tinggi tau. And I tak ada tanggungan macam I tak ada dengan family. I tak tak ada family lagi so I I independent. So um I can handle the situation sebab I just need to support myself. Uh, actually every flight yang I buat uh, okay last I fly was September lah before I apply cuti tu. So every flight on September tu memang I dah kita orang dah banyak cakap pasal benda ni tak, macam like tak tahu kita boleh fly sekali, fly sekali lagi ke tak and then kita orang tak tak adalah macam say goodbye ke apa sebab that time tak sure lagi bila I kira last day I kerja tapi we talk about our plan lah if anything happen to our company uh, I rindu kawan-kawan I, kawan-kawan kru I I ada passenger yang baik, I, I uh, sorry Sorry. Even aircraft pun I rindu. Bau oven pun I rindu. <laughs> so, I rasa benda ni tak adalah. I mean like, tak adalah forever. In the meanwhile, memang kita kena like uh, live a simple life. Okay. Whatever job yang ada, you you try to. Okay. Uh, and then please love what you do. Contoh, my friend ada yang buka gerai, you know. Sewa tapak, buka gerai, jual makanan. You jual makanan, fine. You love what you do. Be yourself. Uh. Uh, pandemic ni mengajar I untuk live a simple life. Okay. Uh, you tak perlu nak, uh, you know, like every day makan fancy. It's enough for you to start like every day I have a routine makan with your family and also to appreciate your health. Sekarang ni health, kira health is wealth lah. You are you healthy is enough for you. You tak affected uh, by health during this pandemic is good enough actually. I I tu pikir juga I I bersyukur dengan apa yang I ada sekarang, especially my health. Sebab tu I boleh kerja. I I cannot imagine kalau I affected uh, dengan COVID-19 ni as in macam uh, infected lah. So that's a good thing lah that I have right now. Uh, 